Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. As you guys know, it is a tradition by now when I upload a new module to the course Full-Time Funnel Designer, I always ask myself how can I also provide the most value to whoever is subscribed or a part of a free Facebook group or who just can't afford the course right now. And so what I wanted to do is release another course video for you and show you some of the stuff that's in the course. So this is a uncut entire course video showing you some of the des design tricks that you can do to enhance the quality of your funnels, make them convert more, make you more money or your clients more money if you're building funnels for other people, as well as just uh, showing you how to uh, take that Canva design and insert it to click funnels and make your pages look better without having to use Photoshop if you're not using Sketch or Figma. I still like Sketch and Figma the most, but some people prefer Canva, so we also have a module about that. So now, let's dive into that tutorial. Also make sure you're subscribed, like the video, all of that. And uh, now, let's go to the tutorial. Right, so now let's talk about graphics and how to add custom graphics like this one, for an example, where you have a rectangle or a circle behind a person or a graphic or a pattern like dots or dotted circle, whatever you want to call it. I'll show you how to do that inside of Canva and you can then uh, download that image as a whole and upload it to your landing page. So let's go back to graphics bundle. I've given you a hundred different graphics that you can start from and then you can go in here and change colors. So just go to file and make copy when you click the link below this because it'll take you to Canva where you can make this into your own. It's a shared template thing. So anyways, I'll show you kind of how I do this inside of Canva. You can see here all the options. And then I'll also show you how I did it in Sketch. If you haven't watched the Sketch module, by the way, even if you don't have a Sketch or maybe you don't want to use it, I highly recommend you watch all those videos because you'll see how I think when I'm designing stuff. So we have the bundle with all these 100 different graphics. And then we have this where you kind of see me giving you a couple of examples how I've used them. So, uh, you know, you can have gradient abstract objects behind the images. You can have rectangle. I think this is a gradient. Yep. And you can make these bigger or smaller depending on how, you know, how you want the, the graphics to look. All you have to do is just upload your image here, change those out. This for an example, if you have mock-ups, we'll talk about that in a separate video, but you can add these to kind of add some flavor to it. And yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do. The reason why I give you a hundred different ones here that you can download is let's say these for an example, if you download this, in fact, you can actually make this bigger all the way up here and down here. So there's no spacing, go to download and you have to download them in transparent background because otherwise it's going to take this background with you as well, the white background, especially if you want to just change this inside of Sketch. So for an example, you can see here's the image that I've downloaded. You can also see how I've added different graphics to these images to, to show in the Sketch module. But this is what I downloaded. If I clicked on Fill here to change this color, let's say I wanted a gradient color to it, then it would have made this entire background gradient as well. So you couldn't see the graphics. That's why you have a hundred different graphics from Canva. So like this one, for an example, you can see it's downloaded as, you know, one color, but then I've clicked filled and added a gradient. I can change this around however I want to. And you can see how we can kind of modify the graphics to add to any image that we want in a software like Figma or Sketch. So that's the first thing. But if you want to change these inside of Canva and use them here, you could do it like this. So I'll leave the link to both below and you can start playing around with them and see, if, you know, kind of how I've used them. So sometimes I go a little bit cleaner. Sometimes I like to be a little bit more splashy. I would say these are more, again, clean. These are more playful. These are more premium. They're not screaming so much. They're more subtle. This is, I would say, fits pretty well with, with uh, that image. Again, you need to upload your own images and play around with this and see kind of what you want to use. 
one thing to keep in mind is to never make the graphics too, you know, big or take too much focus. Like you want them to not look at this and say, what is this train station right here? Instead, they, you know, you want them to focus on the image and maybe have this something like two lines of dots. Yeah, you can even highlight this, hold down shift and highlight that one, group it together and then make it fade into the background a little bit more. So a lot that you can do with these. I think they're great. So one more thing with creating uh, amazing graphics is you can go to elements and you can add more to these hundreds. I'm going to use this one. So this one, we're actually going to set, say, more navy blue. Let's see. Transparency. Okay. Something like that. And then you can search here for more options instead of just using the hundred. So you go to elements and then you go to lines and shapes or graphics. So you can get all of these here. For example, if you just wanted to use something like this, you could do that. But I want to go with graphics. So you can see we also had it here, graphics. And I want to search for gradient, for example. If I want to add a taste of more modern gradient to my designs, I could do that by simply clicking on one of these and adding it behind the person. Okay, so it could be you, it could be the client, it could even be more faded and not so visible. So let's just leave that there for now. Could change it later. And then I wanna search for like 3D render, for an example. I wanna have some 3D icons. And again, there's a lot of things that you might not find by just searching for 3D graphic or 3D object. But sometimes you can see here, for an example, you can see magic recommendations. And this is why Canva is, is pretty cool because it'll suggest things for you that you can look for and then just keep expanding and finding more stuff. So maybe you even want something in the background like that, for an example. You know, there's a lot of, of things that you can do with these. And now it's starting to be a little bit busy, but I just want to show you what you can do. So let's do one more thing like 3D geometric um, a lot of animations, not exactly what I was looking for. 3D abstract. Let's see. Magic recommendations. Okay. Could find something. You can obviously rotate these, make them smaller. Some of them you can change the color as well. And now I don't like this in the background. I kind of like these gradient modern colors. I don't know why. But obviously you have to go with whatever works for that industry or that brand. Let's see one more thing. What should we look for? We, we have 3D graphics. We have gradient graphic. Let's see what we find. Letters. Okay. We have letters. Let's see if we type in gradient 3D. More letters. We have some graphics that we could use for icons, which is in another video. We have something like this, for example, they, sh they should have the magic recommendation for these as well. Let's see if we find if we click a few of these, you can actually go here and see what they're called. Oversaturated rainbow color 3d graphic over saturated, we can find more examples as well. So sometimes when you find these graphics, you can look what the name of this, you know, graphic is and just search for more of that. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you come up with. I think Canva has done a lot of uh, great stuff when it comes to improving their their platform and people who say you can't design anything with with uh, Canva. I don't think they've played around with the platform in, you know, in recent years. So imagine if you first went with, you know, you have something in the background, you have some small 3D graphics and then if you want you can have like a text uh let's see something like this we're just gonna type in gs and we're gonna make this position to back one forward to the side let's see if we type ghosting instead I'll delete this for now. Anyways, you guys get the point. Text, background, graphics, 3D graphics, patterns, 
all of that good stuff. It starts with an image, you remove the background, you add whatever layers you want to it. And yeah, I even have more and more trick when it comes to layers, which I'll talk about in the next video. So I'll see you there.